Welcome everyone to our next episode of our podcast, which is powered by Wellbuilt. Um, so before I start going into this topic is speed cooking as well as, um, uh, let me rephrase that, uh, speed cooking under 10 minutes and with biodegradable packaging as well. So I got two important people with me or special people with me. I got Chef Winston Link from Wellbuilt Asia. Chef, hey, hello. welcome. Hi. And on my left, I have Jeremy Yeo, Sales Director of uh, Director of Sales for, for Biopack. Um, welcome, gents. Hi, thank you for having thank, thank, yeah. thank you for coming on board. Right. The whole idea is to finish this episode within 15 minutes. Sure. We'll sure. try it. Huh? Right. Yeah, we'll, yeah. Try, yeah. we'll try, we'll try. Right. The earlier show we did, didn't go as planned, but we'll try this to make sure it's done by, <laughs> right. by 15. Chef, now we're talking about sweet cooking. Right. Right. Now I, you have a married chef. Before you go into all the USPs and the plus points, just right. showcase first the married chef. Sure. Okay, I will just want to touch on currently, uh, uh, we are having this uh, heightened alerts and uh, faces in Singapore, of course. So uh, we will definitely have uh, a lot of uh, experiences in a lot of people like me, myself, including uh, for a lot of deliveries, takeaway orders. So in order to uh, curb this uh, uh, order or situation, we will work, we would like to actually introduce this uh, type of modern cooking that it will help to ease the situation. Okay, over here, uh, I think if you are talking about uh, just uh, in front of the camera, uh, just talk, doing talking without demonstrating, I think it will be too boring. So today I actually prepared something for the audiences. So over here, as you can see, uh, I have actually done up this uh, pack of uh, pasta spaghetti called uh, arrabbiata. So it is all a uh, cooked, well cooked, uh, not say well cooked, okay, it's a 70% cooked with the pasta itself because I still need to do a finisher in my oven. So what happened is, right, uh, before I doing that, I will actually share with you a little bit more on how we can actually uh, prepare this uh, pasta. So we understand that in a traditional kitchen, we always will actually cook the pasta into al dente, a la minute, and we will actually fold it together with the sauce and we will dish it out straight away. But because of the deliveries that we experience you know, now, you know, we have to stay at home, you know, stuff, have to mini minimize physical contact. We need to actually uh, try a lot of ways to curb this uh, situation, like how? Like uh, we can't actually serve a, a proper uh, a la mini type of pasta to the uh, customer because a lot of deliveries and delivery takes time. So now what we need to do is we need to actually play backwards. How to play backwards? We need to actually cook to determine the pasta not to be 100% cooked but a 70%. And of course for the sauce wise, we need to do a little bit of R&D so that we can actually make sure that it's blended well after we reheat in our high speed oven. So over here, I will just do a little bit of a trial and demo and show to the audiences. Very simple. So this is a backpack, food grade backpack. We cut it through. So it's so easy that we do not need any uh, chef around to uh, cook the pasta because everything is well uh, prepared. So for the staff, just imagine I'm a staff and I do not have any culinary experiences. I, I only need to open up this pack of pasta, put it into this uh, container. This is a special Teflon, uh, co uh, Teflon container that is uh, from Mary Chef. So what happened is now we only need to select the icons. So over here, this is our easy touch icon from Mary Chef High Speed Oven. Over here, a press, the pasta arabiata icon is shown. So it's very simple. A touch of the icon, it will show that the product in the oven. So what we need to do now, the staff, we just open it up, push it in. Because of the pasta, it will evaporate away the, the, the water. So we need to cover it up and we close it. So once we close, it will automatically start cooking without any pressing of the button. So it is so easy and it's so simple and any staff, especially for part-timers, you can handle this oven well. So of course, now a little bit more about Mary Chef oven. So as you can see, this is a very small uh, size of an oven that it can almost fit every uh, footprint in Singapore. And you talk, talk, talking about weight, it's so light that we can actually shift it. And it's a very safe oven that we can actually uh, use our hand to touch, even though it is actually running at a very high temperature. Okay, why Mary Chef high speed, uh, high speed oven is so fast? Because it's actually uh, using three elements cooking concurrently together in this cavity itself. So one is a high convection, uh, high convection heat of 260 degrees Celsius. Uh, our impingement patented impingement plates and our third microwave assist. 
So because of these three elements coming together, it actually can cook up very fast. And how fast it is? It's 10 to 12 times faster than a normal convection oven in the market. So of course, it's depending on the product. So for a uh, pasta to be prepared under uh, two minutes over here, it's actually very impossible because we understand that traditional cooking, we need to use the stove, we need to have experienced chef to fold in the pasta and to determine the consistency, the heat, of the uh, and the taste of the pasta itself but now thanks to high speed oven we can actually pre-prepare our food and uh, wrap at it and easily cap it in the chiller and when we need it we just cut it open and we just use it so this is so easy okay over here you see it's already done so what happens is we just need to open it up carefully bring it out and this is the moment of truth because it's so the heat is so high, as you can see over here, bubbling, very hot, mm. right? So over here, what we need to do now because of the delivery, so thanks to Biopack uh, packaging, it's all biodegradable and it's so nice, nicely done over here. So what we need to do that we just need to fold in the pasta into the take away boxes very simple very easy any part-timers or staff it can be done right simple straight and everything done within two minutes. Wow. Cover it up and ready for delivery. So this is as simple as that. So of course, now this, uh, uh, this oven is not only for a lot of uh, small restaurants, but it also uh, very versatile for hotel, for room services. Yeah, so this is all for my demonstrations. I hope our audiences will uh, appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. So thank you, Chef. So, so that's the whole idea because we're talking about speed cooking. Yep. And literally, you can say an arabetta was done within 10 minutes. Yep. So that's so great. Um, the whole well built concept in the past year has been breaking the 30 minutes barrier. Yep. So now we have talked about the cooking, cooking under 10 minutes. Yep. Now it comes to the next important, which is also working with uh, restaurants on the delivery. Right. So, the, so I have Jeremy here. So Jeremy, wait, before we go into it more detail, just explain to us Biopack and how it works. Sure. Thank you for having us, uh, WGS, and for the great demonstration by Chef yep. uh, Ling. I think it's, it's a marvelous innovations that uh, I think re uh, re uh, revolutionized mm. the kitchen operation all over again. And thank you for having Biopack over here. So what I'm holding right now is actually a biocane packaging. It's uh, made of sugarcane pulps, uh, the byproduct of sugarcane pulps. And uh, the amazing thing about this is that it's a, it's a very easy replacement for your conventional plastics. So like what Chef has mentioned, uh, when the food is placed into the biokin packaging, um, sometimes there might be delays by the delivery teams uh, coming to the residence. So once it reaches you, if you think that the food is lukewarm and not to your expectation, you can simply just put the entire packaging into an oven or a microwave to reheat the food. It's just so simple. It wouldn't burn, it wouldn't have any fire hazard. So it's just built this way that this is a, it's a perfect solution for uh, uh, conventional plastic replacement. So uh, it's non-permissible. So don't worry about it leaking. So the sauces wouldn't leak from the bottom as it is. So uh, we, we really thank you, uh, WGS, for letting us uh, cover our packagings in this podcast. I think it's good for everybody to know more about Biokin. And uh, it's actually the number one uh, up and coming uh, uh, material for, for packaging takeaways right now. Right, coming back to the topic. Uh, coming back to the topic of speed cooking, right, Chef? Yep. From your point of view, from a restaurant's point of view, yep. because with the current uh, pandemic that we're going through, uh, dining out, uh, you can't dine out, only two packs. Yep. And to maximize the turnover even for, for delivery, um, how important is it to get your meals done uh, as fast as possible? Right. Opinion. Okay, in my, in my opinion, because of the high constraint of uh, even for uh, uh, high volume, uh, high constraint and volume of uh, delivery orders and we need to actually, uh, based on a certain time to actually dish out the product with minimum uh, damaging of quality, I can say that. At the same time, to also make sure that the delivery guys are 
uh, timing have to be there. I think, I think there's a lot of elements that we have to play around. So what we need to do as a manufacturer, I think uh, moving forward because of this, to quote this sort of uh, situation, we will actually want to actually innovate in terms of whether we actually do the pre uh, preparations of the food to cooking, dishing out, and of course packaging so that it will actually everything. Okay, we are talking about everything. Uh, we cut down a little bit of timing yeah. and even a little bit of process so that we can actually make sure that this food is being dished, uh, being uh, bring forward to uh, the customer nicely. Yeah, of course, co uh, without jeopardizing any consistency, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, yeah come, when it comes back to, to cost, because with the restaurants you're dealing with this, wait, every, the current situation is everybody is very cost sensitive. Right. Yeah. So, how is there, in your opinion, going biodegradable and increasing it to speed? Does it be increasing in your cost? Because at the end of the day, it comes down to cost, right? Yeah, From course. a restaurant point yeah. of view, like the big topic: plastic versus biodegradable. Um, plastic is better because it's cheaper. Yeah. The pocket doesn't burn. Mm. So. Definitely, we all are going sustainable. We are talking about, uh, you know, sustainability as a whole, where timing, speeding, and uh, how you can um, increase your manpower. Mm -hmm. Like you now, you mentioned, like mm. my staff or my my uh, waiter or my staff in the in the kitchen can just put it in, and it's mm. simple to use. Yeah. Same way for for biodegradable, it's like okay, it's good for the environment and it's not that cost effective. So what's your thoughts when when you know definitely when yeah. you go and speak to a restaurant, it's like, oh, what's how much? Yeah, yeah, kind of what's your thought on that? Yeah, you're spot on because uh, each time when we speak to the customers, um, probably nine out of 10 people ask you what's the cost? Because there's, there's this perspective that biodegradable packaging are a lot more expensive as opposed to your conventional plastics. But that's not true. Uh, when we meet up with the customers and have an in-depth discussion, they'll be very surprised to know that actually biochem products are comparable to your plastics or sometimes it may even be cheaper because it's widely available. Uh, it, makes, it, it comes from plants, plant-based uh, uh, material. So, so it, it's so uh, rapidly available that the cost has come down so much over the years. So yes, it, it's true that probably three to five years ago it was that high. Uh, but it has come down so much that it's, it's almost on par with uh, regular plastics. So, yeah. Chef, what else can we use my chef for? Um, you just demonstrated a pasta, but what's the facility of it? Actually, for Mary Chef, it's a very wide uh, range of uh, product that you can use it for. You know, you, not only for pasta, you can actually do like a main course or so. Because at the same time, uh, this oven, uh, this control panel allows you to save up to one thousand twenty-four recipe. Oh, Every wow. recipe you can actually allows you to do up to six step cooking. So you can actually play around with your step very delicately. Like what, for example, now if I actually want to do a main course, actually I have a video to do actually show some of the speed cooking in my. Video videos in YouTube. So what happens is if, I, for example, I'm doing a salmon, a main course. So what happens if, if a salmon takes one minute and 15 seconds in my Mary Chef high speed oven, I will actually fold in the vegetables first because the vegetable takes longer time to cook rather than the salmon. So what happened is uh, maybe I can set first set 40, 40 seconds just to cook my vegetable. And after that, it will actually prompt me to add in my salmon. So my salmon will cook together with the vegetable and come up in the same timing. Okay. So this is also the part that we can actually save up a lot of uh, cooking uh, equipments in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially you know, in Singapore, footprint is so expensive. So yeah. kitchen is getting smaller and smaller, but dining area is getting bigger and bigger. So this is also something that we need to actually look into yeah. for future uh, investment, right? Okay. Yeah. Now we talk about the, vers the versatility of, of, of the products available from a chef's point of view. Now, Biopack, what was the range? Do you cover a specific segment or do you have like the, yeah. like for everything, for Asian cooking, let's put it that yeah. way. Actually, we have a full range of portfolio products uh, that are suitable for your, your Horical channels, your FMB, your catering, in fact. And we are constantly innovating. We have a uh, dedicated team of R&D people who are coming up with new packagings. How do we enhance the current ones? Uh, and also, if I may touch on the delivery part, and yeah. we're working with all the major uh, delivery platforms right now to ensure that our packaging fits uh, the delivery process. So to, to actually mitigate minimal uh, spillage, or uh, topple over and stuff like that. So, so uh, rest assured, we're really working very hard so to come up with the best packaging possible for any usage. So, so basically, that's that's what we're here to talk about, right? Speed cooking as well as as uh, how we can deliver the food sustainable way and in a safe manner. Yeah. 
So, Jens, before I close this topic, do so you have anything to, to add on to the end? Or it's like, okay, you're done because you want to go back and... <laughs> yeah, no. I think uh, just for the audiences to get to know more about high-speed cooking because uh, a lot of times, right, they will think that a high-speed oven is uh, more like a, a very expensive type of microwave, but it is not. It's more than a microwave, it's more than an oven. It's really how you can actually create this uh, <laughs> uh, menu out of this uh, high-speed oven. So. Please don't mistake it. It's two, two, two different types of uh, pieces of equipment. Yeah, that's it. Jeremy, anything before we, we close it off? I think for Biopack uh, perspective, probably uh, the, the, the owners, the business operators probably can, can speak to us to find out more uh, about compostable products. Uh, while using them, you, you are doing good to the environment as well. So why not? It's a win situation. All right. All right, gents. Thank you for, for thank you. Uh, allowing me to spoil your time. And, <laughs> and thank you for coming on board my podcast. Um, and for more information, um, find out more about the Barry Chef from the Well Built so website. You'll see the link below. And more from Jeremy from Biopack. Uh, it's it's uh, what we're looking at for biodegradable. Um, so if anything, please, uh, thank you for watching, I would say. And I uh, hope you enjoyed today's program. Yep. Thank you for having us. Yep. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.